Welcome, I am Dr. Sandhu from Business Management and Research Channel. In this video lecture, you will learn what is cartel in economics. Table of contents. The first point is what is cartel in economics. Second point will be types of cartels. Third point, cartels negative effects. And fourth point is conclusion. So there are four points. And I will explain all these four points in detail. Number one, what is cartel in economics? An agreement between two or more large producers. Remember it, two or more large producers to regulate the supply of goods and services. Another key point is regulate with the goal of manipulating prices is referred to as a cartel. This definition is explaining about two producers who are trying to manipulate price and what we say it is a cartel. To achieve this, the producers must agree to work together to limit competition and effectively control the market as a whole, also known as price rings. Price rings. This item has many different names. Number two, as a group of independent participants in the same industry, they set a fixed price, fixed price for the commodity or service they produce or provide without any competition from other producers or providers. Point number three, cartels are group of businesses that agree to restrict trade, agree to restrict trade in order to keep the return or price of commodity at a predetermined level by producing as much as possible within the agreed upon output limit. Point four, while participating in the agreement, each member firm retains its distinct identity and financial independence. In a nutshell, a cartel is a group of rivals working together in the same industry. Further explanation, in order to limit entry and create a monopoly, cartels limit output and capacity, control prices, restrict non-price competition and distribute the market among members based on geography, product type or other agreed upon terms. The goal is to exert some kind of restraint on the product's production, distribution or sales. Producers in the same industry compete. What I said, producers in the same industry compete with each other, but they are willing to work together, willing to work together to reduce competition by setting prices. Here comes types of cartels. Number one, price cartel. So you must be focused enough to understand this definition. Minimum prices are set in accordance with the demand and supply ratio. What I said, minimum prices are set in accordance with the demand supply ratio. For members, these prices are strictly enforced. So this is price cartel and everything revolves within the limits of price. Then comes term cartels. Business cartel regularly agree on terms of doing business. What I said, terms of doing business. Everyone must adhere to the rules of the game. Terms of work can include number one, delivery mode, number two, delivery locations, then delivery time, payment terms, interest charges in the event of a delay. Number three, customer assignment cartels. There are cartels that assign specific customer to each member. So they will, what they will do? They will uh, uh, make groups, they will make some uh, distinction and they will say that this is your customer, this is your, this is your like this. Therefore, all customers are divided among the members in order to ensure a proper revenue flow. So all the producers will be getting some customers. All the producers will be getting some customers. Customer should not be brought in for other members. And if you have one customer, 
you are not allowed to take to other people or other person can never or unable to recommend the customer to you. So this is customer assignment cartels. Then comes quota cartels. A quota is a limit on the amount of something that can be produced. Means you are able to produce 10 dozen, 20 dozen, 30 dozen like this. So there is a quota restriction. Collaborating with other can help reduce the amount of goods in the market, which in turn raises prices. Okay, once you will cap the production, definitely when there is lesser supply, price will go up. Each member can only produce up to allotted quantity. Number five, zonal cartels. Each cartel member is given a specific region of the country that you are able to sell in uh, city A or city B or city C. So, uh, in cartel, you will be given a target uh, city and you will be able to sell in that city only. Members must make certain that they are operating in accordance with that members make sure that they are in the same city and not selling in any other city. Then comes syndicate cartel. Multiple members of a cartel form a syndicate to sell their wares as a unit at a lower price because of economies of scale. You are a group of syndicate. You are a member of a syndicate. Syndicate is a group and together you will take decision of a product price and you will sell accordingly. Super cartels. These are international collaborations, but I said international collaborations at the highest level. Cartels in the home country collaborate with cartels in the other country. So collaboration within two countries, one is your country and then some other country. So this is what we say super cartel. What are the negative effect of cartels? Now we will see that. You can find price increase. When a cartel is formed, all members raise their prices at the same time, reducing demand elasticity for a single producer. So you will find price increase. Number two, lack of transparency. There is a lack of transparency because members do not disclose prices unless they have agreed to do so. So lack of transparency. Nobody will show you price until and unless there is a there is an agreement and you are willing to uh, share your product price. Anti-competitive behavior. It obstructs the competitive market's functioning and thus encourages anti-competitive behavior. Supply is limited. Members of the cartel have a tendency to limit the amount of output available at times. So once you are a syndicate member and as I mentioned seven types of cartels you are restricted like in quota or region or syndicate. So you are unable to produce product up to certain limits, up to certain quantity. So supply will be limited within the market and then price will increase. Market segmentation. Members are divided in different markets into different regions and territories when carving up the market. And they do not compete in each other's territory. As I said that uh, if you will find uh, one product in city A, you will be unable to find in city B as otherwise you are interested for that product. So this is market segmentation in cartel. It is negative effect that something is available in uh, one market and not available in the other. Extraordinary profits. Successful firms will find it easier to make money which will stifle innovation, which will stifle innovation. Remember it. Cartels are usually defined as a formal or informal agreements between companies not to compete with each other. It can occur in any industry at any level such as manufacturing, distribution or retail and regardless of the product or service offered. Trade combinations, antitrust and anti-competitive practices are all terms used to describe such restraints. These business practices are frequently challenged in court. What I said, frequently challenged in court as illegal conspiracies that obstruct fair market competition. I think you got the point 
and uh, now you understand what is cartel this is basically agreement to limit something what i have mentioned before keep watching best of luck